This is the future of kids. She's she's training over the computer. She's training clients on camera. Alright, take a break. He's being good. I'm picking one though. Let me daddy pick one you. Hmm? You know? You tired of my crowd? Bad news today. Got a um, O2 sensor for the Acura. The one I busted was hoping that was the bad one. Turns out that was the good one. <laughs> so the other one it was more expensive, but I had to order it. So I ordered it. It was $65, which still isn't bad. And I ordered a drive belt because the belt is making horrible noises, which makes this, the car not sound good. So, in return, it would be hard to sell when you're making a bunch of noise like that. So, I'm going to put a new drive belt on it. It doesn't even look bad, It's but if I spray some WD on it, it quiets up and it sounds good. So, But in other news, I got some parts today that I have been waiting for for three months. That's right, the headlight brackets finally came in. That's what holds the washer nozzles in. That's what holds the crash sensor in. The headlight, that's what ties into the fender. That just brings everything together. So I did get it and everything fits up and fits up good. So all I need now are my painted parts. And guess what? Jerry called me earlier this week and they are done. <laughs> so that means we're gonna put this thing on hold, although I do need to go pick up the bumper for this. It's sitting a Greyhound an hour away from me, so I gotta go pick it up. But we are shifting the project build to this. I am finishing this this weekend. Unfortunately, because my Camaro has not sold yet, I'm not legally going to be able to drive this. We can always go to Mexico! So yes, we're gonna finish this. I will get back into this this weekend, but um, and I don't know what I'm going to get into. I want to experiment with those different primers that I got. So I might just do a little bit of that and then might just prime the parts. We got to set up our makeshift paint booth over there. But uh, this needs to get done. It's been sitting way too long. This needs to be done. And I also need to order front tires and I will get to that. But since I can't legally drive it, there's really no rush to get those tires. So I did scrounge up the fog lights out of it. Um, one of the tabs was busted, the mounting tabs were busted off the fog light, so I did plastic weld that together. I got that together, I took the chrome bezel out of the old bumper trim, I had it over there. I got it out and put it on these new pieces over here for the new bumper. As you can see, that's a brand new one. This one is the old one, that's why it's a, it's a little bit pitted and stuff. There's our top piece, there's our grill which needs cleaned. Uh, this is the bottom piece for the bumper and I'm just I'm just excited. Oh I'm like I'm like a little kid in a candy store. Ox beam hitting me up with the lights. These are for the S5 and these are awesome. Come on. Now I just hope that the true light comes through with these, but these are an HID to LED conversion. Here is what the stock bulbs look like in these things and obviously I'm gonna save these in case we have any issues um, but yeah I already installed one so here is what they look like they have like a magnetic lid nice presentation I already hooked this one up but here is your LED bulb comes down to this ballast that plugs in to the HID harness. Um, let me show you how to put the, well, let me show you the difference first, and then I'll show you how to install it, and we'll have, put them in both of them. So I hope this really picks up on camera, um, because, you know, lights, it's kind of hard to capture, but uh, I'm going to try my best here. Um, the passenger side one 
which is going to be the one on the left of your screen, is uh, the new LED bulb. The one on the right is the HID original bulb. So, let's see the comparison. Now, from my perspective, this is a much brighter white. That one, it, it's still very white, but it's not as crisp as this one. This is just like a pure white. This one has a little bit of a darker tint to it, more of a uh, yellowish, but not, you know, I mean, it's still HID, so it's still white, more white than most cars, but it's not as bright as this. So. I think that's gonna be an awesome addition and is gonna make this thing look that much more premium. So with most cars nowadays, you have to remove the front bumper to take a headlight out. Uh, I found that that's not the case for this car. Uh, the bolts that hold it in, there's one in the very back, back here, there's one here and one here. And that is all that holds this headlight in. Um, I don't have any of the bolts in, so you would pull out on it and then get it. Get, get, get on out. Oh, I guess unplug it. Um, unplug it first. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I'm not even gonna unplug it. <laughs> there we go. All you're gonna do is pop this up. See, it's very dusty. Pull this on out, and then right here is your plug. You're gonna plug into, and there's a twist thing. You twist that and pull out, and there you go. Huh? Your new bulb. It's gonna go right in there where the old one was. There's a bunch of fins. Make sure you, you get them. Get it in between all these fins in here and get it seated into place like that. And then you're going to twist it. You're going to take your plug and plug it in to your ballast. And there you go. And then you're going to tuck this off to the side. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That was easy. Yeah. Sweet. Getting there, folks. <laughs> Getting there, man. That thing's looking mean. Um, tomorrow, after work, I'm going to get the bumper and the fender. I'm not making any promises that I will get this done tomorrow night, but I'm going to make a valent attempt and try to get this finished tomorrow night. Oh, the painted parts are here.
Guys, I don't have anything bolted up. I just have it all sitting on here because I forgot. I need to go to the hardware store and get a T fitting for my headlight washers. Um, so I don't want to put the bumper on yet. But <laughs> this thing looks amazing, especially for the money that I have into this thing. I mean, I'm talking, this thing looks four times more than what I have in it. It's amazing. It, I'm, I'm blown away. It's, uh, but you guys are gonna have to wait until tomorrow, which is only gonna be a second. So uh, tomorrow morning, I gotta run and get parts for the RSX, which is gonna be another episode. But <laughs> just, uh, we're gonna continue this tomorrow. Tell me this is not a good looking car. I'm going to have to figure out my totals on everything that I put into this and how much money I had. I did mess up and I am missing a piece. I had to make two brackets to hold the bumper on each side because these mounts that go bolt up through here, they were broke on both sides, but I thought it still looks like it's usable. Um, turns out that they not only clip here but they have a bolt hole on this side which is what forms the bumper to the fender and everything and holds it in place um i right now have a metal bracket with a with an insert on there so it's bolted here and then the metal bracket comes up and bolts to the metal bracket inside on both sides so it's not exactly perfect fitment right now uh but it will be when i get those brackets it was 40 dollars for those this one sticks out a little bit pretty close though for the most part uh everything took me way longer than i expected to put this front end back on just to tweak everything there's so many adjustments just to make it fit perfect and everything is bolted in tight everything works uh we have a warning light for the headlight range detection um i'm not worried about that TP, uh, the tire pressure sensors, I tried resetting them. I can't get them to work right. I'm not worried about that. And then we have a warning light for washer fluid. And that's it. That's it. all that's detected on this thing. I will tell you, I have, I'm just roundabout figures in my head. I have three to 4,000 in this car. I'm going to guess I'm closer to the middle range there. But still, <laughs> look at this thing. Like, so now I'm going to take the S5 out for a spin and we're going to test its capabilities and take it for a drive. And at the end of our drive, I will give it an Iraq score. <laughs> or I'm just going to, I'm just going to take her out and let her eat. test drive. I'm going to take it easy for a little bit. I think it feels pretty good. Pretty tight for 160 some thousand miles. Oh my, I'm liking this thing. Oh my lord. Oh, this 
for new tires. I'm not looking forward to that. It's going to be expensive. Oh my god, this thing pulls! Oh, 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 oh it's awesome! Oh my god! <laughs> It feels way more than 350 for some reason, and that's all it is, it's 350. It must be the torque. Man, this thing feels great. Checking for leaks. It's an Audi. It's gonna have a couple. <laughs> As for my impressions, I absolutely love it. Oh boy, there's a lot of heat coming off this. Um, I did try to charge the AC to see if it was just a little low. It's still not working. If it's the AC compressor. It's not going to have AC because I can't afford to buy an AC compressor for this thing. It hasn't dripped any oil since it's been sitting here, but it is still seeping somewhere because I can still see a little bit of oil in the oil pan. No drops, but uh, yeah. So, <laughs> it's still leaking a little bit. I think we're going to have to top the freeze off a little bit. Power steering is good. We're looking good right now. I uh, think it handles great. It's easy to drive. It shifts good. You can bang gears easy in this thing. It's, it's, I didn't miss a shift, which surprised me. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this, this thing is great. Um, I am going to do a follow-up video on this thing and um, total up everything I have in it and uh, let you guys know how much I have in this car. It's not that much for what this is. Surprisingly, for how good this thing runs, I, 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 like I said, three to four grand. I guarantee you that's what I have in this. So, <laughs> this, thing, this thing's great. Now I'm going to end this one off right with some uh, slow motion car washing scenes because this thing is dirty. The brakes, the rotors were all covered in rust. And after driving it, all that rust blew back the side of the vehicle the wheels were dirty i did wipe the wheels off but they need washed this whole thing needs washed i got bugs stuck on it already so we're gonna make it happen captain
So there you go, folks. I finally finished the Audi. It's finished, kind of. When brackets come in, I'll have to change them, but they're not hard to do. And right now, I have brackets in there that I made that are working just fine. Unfortunately, this thing is going to sit until I sell my Camaro. Because I'm not buying another license plate. I'm not insuring another vehicle. And I don't want to take it off of the Camaro. And then when people want to come look at it, I, they can't drive it. So that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the Audi build. We are not going to be doing another build like this for a while. <laughs> and, and honestly, I wouldn't even have did a build like this. But I locked into it. I'm going to say I locked into it. My winning bid on that thing was, what was it, 1100 bucks? It was either 1100 or 1150 and it was listed as a non-runner. So, I mean, it was complete luck. This thing is freaking awesome. How many times are you going to say that in one episode? But she's so clean and so nice, and I like it. And Ashley likes it, and she thinks it's hers. <laughs> so now I got two vehicles that run great, but don't have air conditioning. Great job. So if you like this build or some of my budget builds, smash that like button. Hit that dislike button if y'all jelly. <laughs> You're just jealous. Go over and check out whatever merch I have left. I need to go over and look at it. I need to update it too. Oh, the things. I just can't keep up. Consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next episode. On Rack.